Today's video is sponsored by GVG Mall, where you can get a Windows 10 serial key for only $17. And by using my discount code, you get a 20% off discount, making it even less $14. After the payment, you'll receive the serial key, and to activate it, just go to your Windows settings and introduce that same key. And voila! You have an activated system for only $14. Happy birthday to you! So I your bitch, you fat motherfucker! Hello guys, Ancient Gameplays, I'm Fabio Pisco, and welcome to my channel. Today's video is about the new AMD 20.9.1 drivers and once again, I'm here as your meat shield. Which is sad. <laughs> now seriously guys, remember that this is only my experience and your experience may differ and will most likely be completely different. It shouldn't, but it is. So remember, this is only my experience. I'm just here kind of me chilling for you, for you guys to know that there is these or those possible problems or fixes. That's all. Now, I do know that I always say this in all my videos, not at least all my videos about drivers, but 20 means the year, 2020. As for the 09, the month, and the 01, the revision in that month. So, 20 the year, 9 September, 1 the first revision of, of the first revision of September. Now on the release notes we have pretty decent fixes, a pretty good amount of fixes that they claim they did. Uh, one of those were, were the, the kind of power cyclings on the monitor, so when you turn off your monitor and turn it on again, at least I think it is that, I do still have this problem, which is the screen stays black. Um, and guess what? Yes, at least for me, it is not fixed. They claim they fixed that, um, but maybe not for everyone. But well, that's a minor issue, at least for me, because I can press Ctrl, Shift, Windows key and B all at the same time and the driver kind of resets so you can actually get image without uh, unconnecting or unplugging and plugging again the, um, the display port cable. So it's kind of easy to do actually, but it's just annoying. But well, they also claim several other fixes in several games like Project Cars 3. We also have fixes in the installation errors. errors. We have several things actually, but the one thing that I kind of had problems uh, after for any driver after the 20.4.2 till the 20.8.2, so 20.8.3 is actually the best driver for me till um, till now at least. Yes, till now it's the 20.8.3, the best driver. Um, but well, I had problems since the 20.4.3 or 20.5.1. Yes, 20.5.1 till 20.8.2 was with FreeSync, yes, and guess what, <laughs> Jesus, it's still not working, so it works on the 20.8.3, but once again, it is lacking in the 20.9.1, and yes, my hair is kind of strange, but I'm trying to grow it, so it is actually in that phase where it's not long nor short, so it's kind of tricky and looks like shit, but well, sorry for that, it annoys me also. Back to the topic, FreeSync is still broken in these drivers, 20.9.1 and I don't understand, I really don't understand how and why AMD does that. I really don't, FreeSync, I could understand, I could understand if it was like black screens, uh, crashes, because uh, those involve a way higher amount of settings and variables to kind of cause the crash or the black screen. But this is FreeSync, one of the main things that must work with an AMD card. FreeSync is a must nowadays, um, so I don't, I don't really know and I don't know why FreeSync is broken in most recent drivers. I don't know why. So once again, it works for me on 20.4.2, it works on 20.8.3, None of uh, none of the in between drivers works with FreeSync properly, and the 20.9.1 is broken again. Now it isn't nearly as bad as with other driver versions, like for example the 20.8.1 or the or some 
or the non beta no, the non beta version of the 20.5.1 it is not as bad near as bad as that FreeSync is actually okay in some games still doesn't work in others uh, the the game where i can see that FreeSync is working or not in my monitor is actually forza horizon so in control the FreeSync is working on assassin's creed odyssey it is working mostly but in the bottom part we still have some tearing in some in some scenarios um, and the same happens to Forza Horizon, so Forza Horizon um, has a lot more movement and I can actually notice the tearing in some parts. Not every part, but in some parts. And well, some, most of you can say, turn on the V-Sync and you can actually see the tearing disappearing. Yes, but you do not have to use V-Sync to actually make use of FreeSync. So, it may work better in some scenarios, and yes, if you use the 20.9.1 and you use FreeSync with VSync, it will work properly. It will, but using VSync while using FreeSync still adds a bit of input latency, and using FreeSync alone is the best of both worlds. So, you still have a bit more latency that no sync at all, but you still have the smoothness of FreeSync, so the best of both worlds. And the previous drivers like the 20.4.2 and 20.8.3 do work with FreeSync properly. I don't know, but I I mean, I use computers for such a long time that I think that I have an eye for, the, for those things and I can actually notice if it is uh, smooth or not. And well, once I revert back to the 20.8.3, I could see immediately the smoothness improving or at least the smoothness improved i mean so yeah it was not it was not uh, things of my head it was actually the driver that didn't make freesync work properly at least not without vsync but well guys like i said this is my experience no black screens no crashes just that uh, an issue uh, a supposedly fixed issue that wasn't fixed and FreeSync that was actually broken versus the, the, the earlier drivers. So, yeah, at, at, usually at the end of the video I have a comparison between both drivers, but I won't really do it because it makes no sense. The performance is actually the same, at least in all the games I play, uh, essentially the same. So yeah, I didn't even bother to, to test uh, the other drivers. So sorry about that if you were expecting for a comparison. And well guys, that's all for today's video, stick with 20.4.2 or 20.8.3 drivers, that's my opinion and my advice according to my data that I gathered with my builds. Also, take a look at the new merchandise of the channel, go to the store on my channel, um, you can also use my Teespring store and get this awesome shirt, it is really awesome and comfy, so get one if you like the channel and if you want to support the channel even more. Thanks a lot for watching, don't forget hit like, subscribe and share this video and it's all for today guys, thanks a lot and wait for the next one, ciao!